into the pit of my stomach. I'll put it back in the machine, make it clean. I've got one of those things that's going to get ready. It'll take like one minute. I'm not going to lie, I didn't get this ready. Isn't that entertaining? So with me, I'll try and do it as quick as I possibly can. So just arriving in the square, sword swallowing, and riding a giraffe in the cycle, heavy flight folded. I'll put this one just there. Perfect. I'll stop talking for 30 seconds. Start getting ready. Here we go. Okay, we Take that to it. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh. So I'm going to quickly explain how it's going to work. 
It's taken about three years of my life to learn how to control the internal muscles that are usually involuntary. On top of that, you also have to learn to overcome three gag reflexes. There's one in the back of the throat, there's one between the lungs, and the worst one is the opening to the stomach. And today, if I trigger any of the reflexes, I'm going to quite easy to be sick on one of the kids. No, I'm joking. If I mess it really badly, I could actually die! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a quick drink of water, and if it came out through, I want to do this, I'm going to ask a big favour. I'm basically, there's no illusion to swallowing a sword or being blindfolded, nine foot in the air. I'm here by myself. I'm very vulnerable out here in the street. So you guys help me out. On all three sides, there's a rope on the floor. If you want to watch, we all come right against the rope in the front row. I try and make a straight line of people. I try and fill all these little gaps in so no kids can walk out by accident. And now the second row behind squeeze in. You guys said, step forward for me in the back of the second row. I need a quick drink of water. <laughs> Really quiet. Everyone looks really worried. <laughs> Everyone try and relax. It's me doing it. <laughs> I just said it enough. I'm made there. The guy with the black hoodie on. Come out a second. Hold one of these for me. Hold the banner for me. Hold it really high in the air like this. Nice and high. Raise the right side of my new. I'm setting the rucksack right now. Come on, hold it a second. Hold that high in the air. Right straight up from Swan the Sword. I'm at the nine foot unicycle blindfolded. But for that part of the show, I quickly need the help from two willing volunteers out of the audience. Oh, kids, I'm afraid you're all too late. These two men already put their hands up. <laughs> two things, probably nothing embarrassing. There's two men who are fairly strong. You can hold this, otherwise you can't get on it. It's on the right, it's on the gay. So when you walk out, something special. When you walk out, they're all going to clap. Do you know why? Because we're all so bloody glad it's not them. <laughs> I'm here, what's your name? And where are you from? Spain, brilliant. Speak English well? No. <laughs> Not so brilliant. There we go. What's your name there? Where are you from? Are you thinking which well? Yeah, you really never know. We go and you walk out. Everyone else, it could have been you. All the way from Spain. All the way from Leeds. Here we go. Our three guys. What do you three guys walk out for me? Everyone else, give it up for those two. Can you hold the mic? Can you hold the mic? It's okay. It's take too long. Take it one day trip. Here we go. One hand on this there. One hand on this bike. I'll be torch. I'll take that one there. Oh my god, I'll drop it. Here we go. Swallowing the sword before I mount the unicycle blindfolded. So how it's going to work. From you guys, a nice big countdown from five to one. And on one, I'll drop this all the way to the hills. So we'll try and practice. One big five, every single voice together. Hi. Oh, come on. <laughs> Three years of practice to learn. What you guys got to do is count backwards. We're trying to get, come on, one big five. Every voice, lots of few kids. Together. Hi. You're going to queue, just do that already. We're going to queue. Just do that, get out the one, and then we'll get on the bike. One more three. That's one last thing. Kids, listen very carefully. All this stuff from now on. It's very dangerous if kids don't Me, try don't any pray, of it okay. until you get home. <laughs> I thought that would get a massive laugh, but not today. <laughs> and one more thing, when it goes in, if everyone claps, I'll even try to take a bow when it's in my stomach. I'll try and pipe out so everyone can see. All right, here we go, from five to one, every boy. You've got to be worried again. Relax. Here we go, together. Five, four, Give it up. three, two, one. Ready, ready, 
Pastor Kid, when he volunteer, pretty boy, the boy behind him. What's your name? Frank was in there for me. Thanks. I said, Face him one big smile. We take a little bow, you never know, they might crap. Yeah. Yeah. One big job having proved to everyone the flight is real. The white people don't believe me. Throw it here, not here. Whatever you do, don't throw it. 
Over there. <laughs> Anyone, if you get hit, remember, put Tim through it. <laughs> get it, big cheer for the crowd. If you mess it up, we'll cross that bitch when we get through it. Just like that, nice throw right here. Everyone, just about to happen. Oh. Oh. Uh, that was a really good catch. <laughs> Tim, I don't tip. If I'm looking over there, please don't throw it. Just point that one out. I thought number two, wrong one anyway. That's number three. That was at the bottom. And the same, I can't believe it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, better, better, better. Nothing from the crowd, but still good. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Give it up for Tim. Yeah. With three fire torches, some quick safety advice before I light the fire. If at any point now it does look like I'm gonna hit you, I am. <laughs> if I'm not looking bigger, get running. <laughs> Secondly, if it wants to all go horribly wrong, especially when I'm blindfolded, if it wants to fall off, I'd accidentally throw a torch into the audience and kill one of the small children. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what did happen today, ladies, come and see me at the end. I'll help you make a new one. <laughs> well, that went over really well. <laughs> right? Right, one last thing in front and over there. There's a reason why I'm up here about to risk my life blindfolded for your entertainment. And that reason is, this might be a surprise for a lot of you, but this is actually my job. This is what I do for a living. About three years ago now, I should have my full-time job back to the streets and start doing what I love. The reason I'm telling you all, lots of you probably already figured it out, but the strange thing about street performing is, is that no one actually pays street performers to be here. I'm going to start the bar, but a lot of you missed the queue, so I'll quickly try it again. Nobody pays to be here! Aww. But everyone together say it's okay! It's okay! Because we're going to pay! Right, basically it works, I'm not going to hassle people, that's not my style at all. If it all goes well, I'm just going to end the show. I'll stand down there in the middle, holding a hat, accepting donations. And all of a sudden, you've all got really quiet. <laughs> and I'm coming to me do the thinking about how much to give. And I can't light these bloody torches. <laughs> Kieran, Kieran, where are you at? Perfect. I imagine you have to give that problem. I can help. I've heard the average donation in York for a street show, if you're a tourist, is £20 each. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I think, let's get it. I think it's the money. I've got to sign a I'm the one doing it. I think we'll five balls. I've swallowed a sword. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I swore to someone, and I'm going to give up three fire torches, flying fire, folded, not even put in the air. I think that could easily be worth five. If you can't afford that, I think one or two pounds is a bargain. If you got that money, more important though, and I really mean this from the bottom of my heart, if you got that money, please don't walk away at the end. Come over and say hello, come and say thanks, and I'll say thanks back. But you guys tell me to watch, I can't keep doing what I love. If you try and walk, Without at least saying thank you, I will follow you. <laughs> when it happens, it's really weird. Right, here we go. I'm free. I hope you like it. Thank you all for sticking around. Here we go. <laughs> part of the show, part of the show. <laughs> it really wasn't. As you imagine, it's going to be quick. So don't blink. And the most important bit, listen carefully. When I pull down the blindfold, don't all leave. <laughs> and that's right up, and as happened, I tried to walk once, and I got three of them. <laughs> I wanted to thank any photographs and comments, feel free to add them to the Facebook page. Sign for them there, but just simply your fire reader, your fire reader, please step over to the Facebook page. I right, know we're messing around, I'm going to move one last time this way a bit. Perfect. Right, here we go. I'm free, I hope you like it. One, two, two and a half. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I can't believe really anyone clapped. I do it properly for the friends in the back, even if you've only just arrived. Everyone together, nice big hand claps. Everyone together. Keep it up.
tell me that properly. With a big three, two, one, I leap off the unicycle, I try to fall, and it really makes keep on the floor. Everyone together, three, two, one. I want to say a massive big thank you to you all for having to watch. My name's Andrew. Have a lovely afternoon in New York. I appreciate you taking time to see what I do in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the first words to come over are always the luckiest. Time starts now.